Hi everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. As part of today's session, let us understand conversion routine in ABAP or it can be in your ECC or BW system. Most of you might have heard this conversion routine or seen the conversion routine at two main places. One is at your domain level and one is at your info object creation level at BW system. So as part of today's session, we will go deep dive about conversion routine. What is the importance of that? Why SAP has come up with that? So come on guys, let us start today's session. So let us get into the system and log into our ECC. So you all know there's a table called k one table, correct? Which is customer master data table. I'm in SC section and I am trying to view the content of k one table, which is customer master data. If I display the output, right, or the, see the content of uh, the k one table, it is going to show me around 200 record, 200 record, first 200 records, correct? But if you see over here, the customer number, actually the customer number is one, but at the database level, it is showing as nine zero followed by one. Why? Because the Kunnar column or the customer number column is of type what length? Character 10. So let me go and show you in SC11. In SC11, you will be able to see the properties of any database object. In our case, it's a table, k one table. So I am going to k one table. Okay. If you see, there's a column called Kunnar, which is the second column, which is corresponding to your customer number. Right. So let us double click on the data element. The data element is Kunnar. If you double click, this Kunnar data element is, this description is customer number, but this data element is taking reference of the properties from the domain. If you double click, see over here, this Kunnar domain is referring to something called conversion routine. Okay. This is what the conversion routine which I am talking about. What exactly is alpha? What this alpha conversion routine will does is if uh, since the length of this Kunnar column at domain level, what they have defined, they have defined this as character 10. Since they have defined this particular column as character 10, what will happen is if I go back to a notepad, see my data element is Kunnar and domain is Kunnar and the Kunnar is of type character 10 and the conversion routine used is alpha. So if the input value is 1, 2, 3, 4, actually Instead of storing 1, 2, 3, 4, while storing the data in a table, the KNA1 table, right, six zeros will be appended. If the incoming value is 1, how many zeros will be appended? Nine zeros will be appended. So it is prefixing with zero. What is the use of that? Because since the customer number or vendor number or any of these columns are a primary key in order to retrieve the data or even when you store the data in a database, generally as per the basic data base table uh, property, the content of the table will be sorted based on the primary key by default, correct? So for that reason, we generally go with uh, this alpha for the numerical values. For example, if the incoming value or the customer number is 1, 2, how it will be stored? It will store as 1, 2. But when you retrieve the data, it will show as 12 or else if you have enabled or suppressed the conversion routine, it will show along with zeros also. How can we see that? Let me go back to SC16. See, you are able to see customer number 1, 2, 3, 10, all these things. Prefix with zeros, correct? Now go to settings. In the user parameter, See, there is something called include conversion routine. If you enable this, what will happen while storing the data or at least while displaying the data, it will apply that routine. So it will be converted. Your data will be converted to external format. See, external format what? External format is the format which user has entered. The customer might have created with customer number one. But internally, since we have maintained that alpha conversion, the values are prefixed with zero. Since we have enabled that, uh, conversion routine will be applied while storing the data. Whenever you are creating an entry, zeros will be appended, but while displaying, zeros will be removed. Got it, guys? That's how it will work. But how the system is taking care of that? And if you remember, we saw the Kunnar column or a domain is referring to what alpha conversion. This is most widely used conversion routine. Generally, what will happen? there will be two function models which will get created in the system, okay? Those are one for input and one for output. For the input, in case of your uh, alpha conversion, the function model will be conversion exit alpha input. 
so it will convert the data from external format to internal format so that will take care of this appending or prefixing the zeros and everything okay how can we see that go to your sc37 transaction code sc37 transaction code is used for what sc37 transaction code is used to manage your function modules okay so there's an issue with this uh, system let me type the function model name in uh, notepad and then we'll copy paste See, there will be two function module will be created for every single conversion routine okay in our case what is the conversion routine the conversion routine in our case would be alpha correct conversion exit then followed by the conversion routine name input and output function module will be there input will be used to convert your external format to internal format how can we do that how can we see that let us go to SC37 transaction code. What is the use of SC37 transaction code? It is used to manage or create or see the function modules. So let me go to SC37, enter the function module name and click on execute. Okay. What function module I am entering? I am entering conversion exit alpha input. Okay. If I enter 1, 2, 3, 4, it's an external format when the customer is being created, the value, if at all the end users or business users are entered this value, the value will be stored something like this, correct, or entered something like this. But what this conversion exit alpha input function module will convert, it will convert numbers and prefix with zeros. If I see the output, this is the input and this is the output. You can ask me, uh, you know, when I go call, there are a lot of columns or zeros being prefixed. How many zeros? When you call this function model, right, the number of zeros which is going to be prefixed will be based on the data type of a variable what you are going to pass for output to this function model. For example, in our case, we were discussing about if I have declared a variable whose length is character 10, if my input value is uh conversion exit alpha input correct this is alpha input this particular function module if the input is one two three four five what would be the output and your variable what you are passing to the function module is of uh, assuming it's of 10 character it will prefix with the five zeros okay since while testing the function model we have no control about specifying the length uh, the zeros are being padded accordingly got it guys similarly let us go and see another function model what is the other function model other function model is conversion exit alpha output okay let me open one more session let me copy this let us go to sc37 enter the function module enter the function module and execute it the current function module what we are testing is conversion exit alpha output correct so if you see over here if i enter double zero one two three i have entered two zeros right the output function module will convert the data from internal format to external format. Now zeros will be removed. Got it guys? This is how our SAP conversion routine function modules behaves. Hope you guys have understood, correct? Similarly, so what are the things which we have learned as part of today's small session guys? As part of today's session, we learned the overview about uh, the routines specifically the conversion routine what exactly is the conversion routine these routines are helpful in converting the external data from data from external format to internal format and internal format to external format so where you can specify this in your ecc in the or where you can check at your domain level you can go and check where you check in your bw in your bw you can check at your info object level let me just show you quickly where exactly you can check at bw side at info package level so for example so now 
RSD1, you all know RSD1 is the T code where you can go and see the properties of an info object, correct? So, zero customer, zero customer is the equivalent info object for your ECC Kunnar column or customer number column, correct? If you see this is the standard info object because it is starting with zero and if you see the conversion routine it is alpha, okay? Here also when you are storing the data, the data from external format will be converted into internal format, internal format for alpha is what? It will prefix with zeros. External means it will remove the zeros, okay? Similarly, there can be a lot of different other types of conversion routine. For example, you might have seen an example of uh, uh, PRPS table, which is WBS master data PRPS. I believe here the WBS element name is the first column or primary key, correct? POSNR is the primary key. Uh, are the data element and this data element is referring to the domain and if I go inside the domain what I can see over here the conversion routine which is being used is ABPSP and you wanted to check whether the function model exists for ABPSP yes there will be a function model which will exist in your system like uh, the other function model what we have seen right so one is to convert into internal and one is to convert into external wherever you use this right system automatically make use that function module to convert it into internal or external format i'm going to sc37 transaction code and let us uh, test this see abpsp there are function modules okay so like that there are a lot of conversion routines which you can see in the system okay so main thing is like uh, whenever you are doing a custom logic or implementing a custom logic make sure that you understand if there is any conversion routine if there is any routine obviously you will have to take care of that in your where class or while comparing a data in if statement or case statement or anywhere because system won't understand because system literally execute the code what you might have implemented correct in order to ensure that the things are working as expected please take care of this hopefully as part of this video you guys have understood uh, what exactly is a conversion routine in uh, ABAP or BW or in, uh, specifically uh, wherever you use this uh, SAP system, right? And also how can you make use of those function module and uh, what the importance of input function module and output function module. So if you like this video, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. At the same time, if someone is looking for online training on SAP ABAP, BW, BW ABAP, BW Anana, Native HANA and HANA related SQL, feel free to reach out to me on my mail ID that is venugopalemmen1988 at the rate gmail.com. You can also call me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 973998 3992. Thank you so much and have a good one. See you in the next one. Bye bye.